Okay, hello, good morning. This is Paltas Error Instruments. We're going to show something uh, about the Radio Sputnik, uh, about the patch bay, and uh, what kind of patches you can make and how the CV work. Um, yes, you need CV cables. It comes also with these cables. Let's. Um, there, this side are the outputs. This side are the inputs. Well, you see it already standing here, inputs and outputs. You always make a patch to the output, to this. Here we go. This is the wave output. This is the pulse. It can be a sub bass also, really low. And there are actually two outputs in, so you can mix them. Yes, that's the idea. So now I put both audio outputs into the output. And you hear both. The Morse code is synced with the pulse. So now you can use it. Also, if you use only the pulse, but not if you use only the wave. The control voltage works with um, uh, with factorals. That means uh, because it's an analog device uh, for a lot of things. It's analog and digital, but there's a big analog part. And the factorals controlling the potential meters over here, and you can add CV on it. The control voltage comes from under here, from the clock divider, and this is the clock speed. There's a knob also that you can go fast and really slow to make different pulses or more like, um, yes, more like uh, rhythmic things. Um, yeah, what's important to know is that the potential meter change into attenuator if you're using it, like more stuff that we make. So um, the offset is really important. Let's show this. I will show it on uh, on the pulse. That's one sound. So this one is now what you hear. If I want to have control voltage on that one, I plug this one in and take it over here in the input pulse in. Like that. And you'll hear how heavy it sounds. It's giving now pulses, you don't hear anything because I'm holding it down over here. So the offset is over here. If I go up, you will hear it more and more. Now I change the clock speed and now you will hear the clock speed differences in the sound. Like that. If I change now the potential meter, it will still change. That means you can make really low sounds also really fast, like a kind of bubble bud. If you're using the pulse out, you can also use this Morse code knob. If you push it, it makes a sync to the wave. Then you see the wave has also, also influence. This sound is all only from the pulse out. 
Then we go to the wave out. The wave out are different waveforms um, and they're in contrast with each other. So you have textures, little small noisy uh, sounds and these really micro sounds. Let's listen to that. I take the control voltage out and we go now to the wave. Here we go. I play with the potential meters and changing one or two millimeters is also a lot of difference. In this uh, setup, um, um, the wave and the comp are together communicating. So if you change here, something changing here. If you change here, something changing here. They're all, they are synced, so they're communicating. So you have two potential meters to put a control voltage on there. So you have the wave and the comp. So you can add also something from the clock divider. Let's do it. We go into the wave. Now you see it goes on the pulses of the light. And that the clock that the clock is taking care of this. This is if I use the wave input. I can also use the comp input and then it sounds different. If it's all the way open, you will not hear anything of the control voltage because you don't have offset. Now I'm just changing the speed of the clock that it's uh, and then what's happening the whole manipulation got to be slowed down but also the outroll of the waveforms are different so the outroll like woo, 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 or there is an outroll i have two control voltage inputs for the wave so let's use two and let's make a kind of a rhythm with this here we go <laughs> Interesting sounds, interesting sounds. I can control the speed of this rhythm, of course, with the clock. Still, I have a place uh, for another input in audio. And then I can add the pulse to get sub bass or different sounds. So now you hear the pulse, sub bass, and the wave in one time. Play with the Morse code. And now I can add also control voltage in this kind of uh, pulsing into the pulse to get the same rhythm. If 
I want to go faster with this rhythm, I turn out the clock divider or I push the knob. <laughs> of busy busy upset let's start from scratch again so we didn't have talked about the sub out the sub out is um, uh, a sub uh, oscillator out you can use it also to control something of the input so it works more like an LFO and an oscillator instead of a clock divider giving a rhythms so if we want to hear this sound you will understand this and you hear actually the basic clock so you control the speed of this if i'm using for example the wave out and I want to control it by the LFO straight to here. of fn mode to that it goes so fast and uh the pulsing that you hear the small sounds of this uh yeah of this frequency so you work in different uh radio waves yeah for people who don't know the name of this um radio sputnik it means uh, of course it's based for uh, something russian but what's funny about this, uh, you can check on the internet, the UFB uh, 76 or 67, how you call it in English. Um, it's a, a radio channel that pulls in, I think every minute, like four different pulses for already 30 years on some kind of radio uh, level frequency um, from Russia. And there are a lot of spooky stories about this. And I was listening always to it and I want to record it but it just go for 30 years only with a kind of noise and you hear also people talking russian in there like names no talking like names same as they have in us like alpha bravo alpha bravo that they use the first letter something like this but then in russia it's really it has some really uh, mystic something so the inspire uh, of this machine actually yeah uh if you have questions you can uh, uh, always ask it has a mini jack out it's a mono it has the power input uh, it's nine volt uh, plus in the center so that's the different part of the guitar pedals I know some people don't like but uh, yeah the rule is synthesizer have the plus in the middle and effect 
pedals have uh, the plus uh, or the minus in the middle in the center. So it's center positive, but it comes with a power supply if you live in Europe or if you live in the United States, but we don't have the Japanese, I'm sorry. And it always comes with a power clip uh, for uh, a battery, like um, a nine volt uh, clip. Yes. And of course, with some patch cables to play around. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, let me know and stay healthy, be good.